Hey, did you know before you throw that uh, pear away, yeah, but that can be actually turned into a plant. See, the only thing I've done that with is an avocado seed. Okay. Oh, see, I did that in school. You, yeah, you that's put what the I did. Seed, that's like, it. Did you put like toothpicks in I this did, seed? I did, and I held it up in the jar and let it uh, and the, root. And, and then the roots come dangling yes. down in the cup of water, yep. and, and you made like a little X, right? I did. And you had it sitting on top of that's the... That's what that I did. That was a school project. That was a school project. I loved that. I grew an avocado. But I didn't know you could do it with a pear. And Who you, knew? Well, anyway, you are Eric Stromer. I am. And I'm Cindy Dole, and this is Home Wizards. Thank and so you. I thought, you know, there's quite a movement out there of not only keeping things out of the landfill, but imagine saving money and growing vegetables, fruit, plants from your trash. So it's, thought, You know, it seems logical, <laughs> doesn't it? Right? Well, I mean, you, you might go, ooh, that's kind of gross. But no, we're going to make it nice. Don't you worry. We're going to save and avoid waste. Uh, and, and basically, you know, we always, we always can do compost. But no, we're going to take it to the next level. You're taking it to the next we're level, We're going to take you? it to the next level Dang. and turn food scraps that you're throwing away into things that you can grow. So imagine. See, and ideally, you would have a complete system that kind of loops it on itself over and over. So not only are you growing your own food from the seeds that come from the stuff that you eat, but you are also creating the rich, delicious compost. See? You never throw anything out, See? and it's just one cycle of life over and over again. This is my goal. That's great. So goal. the motto is don't throw it, grow it. You, what are you, a rapper now also? <laughs> That's pretty good. So that could be a good little t-shirt, right? Yeah. But it all depends on the plant, uh, but you can start growing in water, pebbles, soil. Most plants eventually will need to be transferred, but let's just kind of talk about some of the things that you can do, the ways you can begin this journey of growing with your food scraps. See, here's what I could grow. I could grow peaches because I have a peach tree. I could grow plums because I have a plum tree. And then, of course, the stuff I buy, I could grow from That's that. That's the thing. So let's talk about green onions. I mean, this is one of the easiest things. Hey, I've got things. green onions right now in the refrigerator. Okay. Tell me what to this do. I'm going right. to grow them. Who doesn't get green onions? Pretty much all of us are- Hold on. Let me see. We, we, all, we all have green no, we onions. We all have our hands up. Yep. <laughs> so if you're looking for a plant that's like a no-brainer yeah. to grow from scraps, look no further than the green onion. Okay. Okay. So once you've chopped it up for your cooking, yeah. what are you going to make with your green onion, by the I way? I put them in scrambled eggs, man. They are good. Okay. Delicioso. I might make a nice little Asian uh, ground turkey wraps, lettuce cups, and we, we saute the green Yum. onions with, with mushrooms and I love it. ground turkey. Oh, with like a lettuce with some cup soy, thing? And, we, and you make the uh, iceberg oh, lettuce as the... Well, the delivery system. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's the you That's know, the lettuce the burrito. But yeah. anyway, whatever you do with your green onions, once you've chopped them up for cooking, all yeah. you need to do is submerge the white end. The okay. one with the little roots with on the it. little hair, the little yes. fur. It's like a lot, it's got like a little, <laughs> right? Yeah. It doesn't like you're not going to use it. Just you're a throw tiny it away. tip of it. You don't need more than that. Just well, the tip. Maybe a little bit. I'd say maybe like in a half an inch. Of half it, okay? an inch. All right. Okay. Save that white end with the roots. Yeah. In a container of. Water. Okay. Leave the top plant above the water surface and then put it in the front of a window. The onion is going to start to dangle down some roots. And then the green part of the onion is going to actually grow back. You're kidding me. See? What a great project with I'm the kids. I'm trying it today. It's a kid project. I got project. three left. I'm doing it with all three. Okay. So everyone can have, so get a little plastic cup, put your name on it. This can be, everyone can see who's growing their onion faster than the others. That's a good idea. Nice little competition. Might even wager some <laughs> hot cash <laughs> okay. on this thing. Yeah. We'll have a little wager. Okay. Yeah. We can do something like that on the website and we'll have a little competition. Yeah. But the onions will grow their roots. And like I say, the green part of the onion will grow back. Um, and then when you need the onions for cooking... You can harvest the green top, and the base of the plant will continue to grow. So In now, water. So remember You're just kid. to change the water. This is hydroponic, and it's fine. Totally. So just remember remember to change the water periodically uh, to yeah, keep it Yeah, because otherwise healthy. it gets funky and rot, rotish. Yeah, and don't be afraid. You could add like just a little bit of bleach, like just maybe just a, a, a drop. By the way, not to digress, but I must at this time because I'm always into pr providing you with health advice, but my dentist said a little bleach in the water pick has been shown via studies from people who swim in <laughs> pools all the time. People that are like water polo okay. players, they have better gum health. Good. Because their mouth is always open in the pool. Let me see your pool. gums right now. Oh, they're gorgeous. They're glowing. Oh. But a little Wait bit again. Of, Let me see again. Oh, that's right? darling. They're tender. All we're missing is the ding, ding. <laughs> no, but seriously, a little a little bit of the bleach Love in the it. water of the water pick. See, that's home it. wizards, we improve your home, Man, improve your do. life, and, and your, health. your health. That's all. Celery. Right. Okay, back to right, the growing food yeah, from yeah. garbage. Yeah. So let's say you've, you've been chopping up some celery because you're going to make some, or well, you're going to make a lovely, uh, I don't know, you might put celery in your marinara sauce. I put it in my tuna. I love it in tuna. Yeah. That's a, tuna casserole, whatever. 
It's like growing the green onions. You grow the celery from those leftovers. Okay, so who doesn't like have that end that might even, you know what I mean, it's kind of hard. I never use it. The hard end, But that's the one that grows. So you chop it up. You leave the base of the plant intact. Okay. Okay. Oh, with all those celery stalks coming from it, you keep that going. Hang on to yeah. So you're going to sit the celery base in water like you did with the green onions. Okay. And you're going to leave it in the water for about a week. Okay. Yeah. And uh, after about a week, you're going to start to see some small yellow leaves Get that are growing from the middle of the plant, and then the outer stalks kind of start to deteriorate. That's yeah. fine. Well, you don't need and them. You can, you <laughs> I don't need those outer stalks. And not you can me. now plant your celery in Get soil. Get out of here! You put it in soil in the you're spring. Gonna put it, you can either put it in a pot. No, right, right now, put it in a pot, or, or inside, inside on the, on the, like on the windowsill. Let or, me tell you, because of the green onions and the celery that I now possess already. Yeah. yeah. I'll never buy them again, because why? I'm growing my <laughs> You're own. You're just a machine. That's it. You're a growing machine is what you machine. are. I'm a growing machine. So here's the thing, is because since celery is a cool weather crop, yeah. you'll need the temperature to be just kind of warm enough for growing, but not too hot. So have at it. Green onions, Man. celery. You heard it here on Home Wizards. We want to see how you did. You know, in that's a, a sense, that's a, a photo. And, and so I don't have to just be relegated to the avocado seed. Now I've got two other crops I can start Isn't on. Isn't this great? It's great. All right. So now what about lettuce? Because we want to have, for that I tuna. I can't imagine you can grow the lettuce. The tuna salad. Well. well, yes. Are you ready for this? Because lettuce can get expensive. Sure. Especially the fancy. Well, yeah, the butter lettuce. The fancy lettuce. Okay, so romaine lettuce. Oh. I love romaine. I love it. In, in, and I go yeah, through a head salads. every day, practically. Oh, well, yeah. So um, it's kind of like growing green onions and celery. Uh-huh. You cut off the lettuce that you're going to use, and then you leave a couple inches at the base. That, that base again. That, that part that everyone, that hard part that everyone throws out, right? Yeah. Don't throw it out. No. The romaine heart can be set in water. Right and in the so dish. N- <laughs> right, right? just facing upward in a window. Is that that's what you're saying to me? Well, you're gonna leave the, the well exactly. The romaine heart is gonna be set in water in a yeah. nice little bowl, and then the new leaves are gonna start to grow from the center. And again, you know, the outer leaves are gonna die off, and you yeah. remove those. And basically, eventually, you can plant the romaine heart in soil, and then start growing that. In a container, Man, in a pot. this is hydroponic heaven is what it is. I mean, you basically now have your green onions, your celery. I don't celery. ever have to go to the store again. I just need a cow for milk. I'm good. Well, you might need some carrots. That's a good point. Okay. All right, let's because try that. Because who doesn't love some soup and salad? I love that. Okay. It goes in my And carrots pot. are usually great for any kind of soup, right? You can't actually grow carrots from scraps, but you can grow carrot tops, which, believe it or not... Uh, can be eaten. And if you're not a fan of bitter greens, the carrot tops will make a very good house plant. Really? Yeah. And, but, you're, and, but you're not going to grow the carrot from that. No, you're not just gonna, the not, tops. You're not going to get the actual orange carrot. Okay, all right. But the carrot top, yeah. the green part, it actually is, is great, um, you know, for some seasoning or because, again, it's flavoring or, again, it makes a good project for kids and... And it makes a nice house You plant. can throw that in the old juicer, though, can't you? The you carrot could. tops. So to grow the carrot top, you basically buy the carrots with those really leafy tops instead of getting the one in the bag, you know, with the pre-cut well, carrots. Well, you know, and at the store they say, hey, how about I tear these off for you? Now you're like, no, 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 no don't no, tear no, those no, off. No. I'm going to take them you home and grow them, them again. long, you know, yes. s- green stalks at the top. Really leafy, right? Riddled with nutrition. L- well, you, so now you're going to cut them so there's about two inches of the orange carrot still attached to that green part. Yeah. Okay, and then what you do is you fill a pie a pie pan with pebbles and then water, yeah. and then you kind of sit these little you know runt little one inch nubs of the carrot Don't with the call them little, runts. That's so cruel. They're little they're carrots. Not, okay, that's good. <laughs> <laughs> and you're going to put those little runty guys there yeah. and fill the pie pan with the pebbles in the water so yeah. they stand upright, and you can cut cut them down to size a little bit, and then you put this in the sun. Okay. Yeah, and, and this be, is in a window still. Yeah. Okay. Or if it's warm enough, it could be outside. But the yeah. carrot tops are going to start to look like a fern. So that's where it becomes kind of good. You know what I'm saying? It becomes a great house plant, but also some good flavoring for soups and all, right? That's kind of great. And it'll it'll just keep growing. And you can also try growing beets and turnips the same way. Now, I've grown beets in soil. Right. But you're saying you can do it from the, the beet remnant? Well, you're, you're not going to get the beet. You're going to get the, the, oh, the plant part, okay? I see. Okay. Now, a lot of uh, vegetables and, and fruit 
uh, can actually be grown from scraps that you plant directly into the soil. So let's say you were cutting up some ginger, yeah. and ginger is not cheap. You were making a lovely Asian dish, and you bought it from the deli section, uh-huh. one of those weird-looking roots. It looks like just kind of a claw, sure. and that's the ginger, right? Yeah. And if you bought too much of that fresh root and you fear you aren't going to use the rest before it goes bad, guess what you do? Put in water. Nope. Put in soil. Yes. Yes. In fact, what you want to do, <laughs> put in water. Nope. Yeah. Put in soil. Yes. <laughs> All you have to do is plant the leftover ginger with the newest, those newest buds, because you know they kind of have like little nubs sure. coming out. You put those buds facing up. And then you have the rest sitting in moist potting soil in a pot. And because it's a tropical plant, it likes kind of humid conditions, yeah. so maybe put it in your bathroom. I don't know why you wouldn't. And then the green shoots are going to come up out of the soil, and then it will spread out. And guess what? In about four months, you're going to be able to have your own harvest of ginger. Get out of here. Now, I'm doing that because I always buy ginger, and then the rest goes bad. And we know what ginger does. Well, if yeah. you, when you, when tell, you them, ba- tell them, baby girl. <laughs> tell them, tell baby tips. girl. <laughs> <laughs> Tell them what happens with the ginger. Seriously. Because yeah, you're spirit. whittling away. You look you're sure, like you're, yeah, you're, sure. you're, you're, you're not former version sure. of yourself right, from the ginger. Sure. Tell you them what it tells. You have a teaspoon of ginger yeah. in hot water or hot tea, and it's supposed to burn more calories. How many? 45 an hour. 45 an hear. hour just sitting there oh, breathing. Oh, that's all? Anyway, just from ginger. Um, pineapple. I love fresh cut pineapple. For me, I don't know. Do you have that? It comes kind of acidic, though, if you have too much of it. Yeah. yeah. But we're going to tell you how you can basically regrow pineapple from the crown. I can't imagine. I know. We got it. We're basically taking it from the garbage to the garden. Whoever needs a garbage can again. <laughs> Eric Stromer, Cindy Dole. You're listening to Home Wizards. So who hasn't tried to grow an avocado from this from the pit, right? You you did I in did. school. I, several I did several times. Yeah, a lot of us successfully. Have. I might add. Really, yeah. to the point of actually eating not a the- tree, but I had I had a plant which I liked, and then actually had a, 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 an avocado. No, fruit I to never eat. got the fruit. I oh. just got the plant. Oh. But oh, it was great. Good. I mean, it's great. Come on. See, it's great. Recycling. Yay. Eric Stromer, Cindy Dole. You're listening to Home Wizards, and we're talking about things that you can basically grow. Before you throw it out from the garbage to the garden. And yes, avocado pits, that's kind of an obvious one. But there's so many others you may not have thought about. And this is going to be fun for you, fun for the family. You're going to save some money and you're basically growing food instead of throwing out the scraps. How about pineapple? Now, pineapple is expensive, fresh pineapple, right? Sure is. I love fresh pineapple. I love the pineapple spears. This is going to take a little more patience because you're not going to have a whole new pineapple for two years. <laughs> It's that's a, a lot. It's like raising a. It's kind of like no, don't, our engineer says, don't, like raising a child. Don't get turned off yet. Stick with me. Okay, I'm here. Keep, keep, keep it here. Keep yeah, it here. Yeah. Stay here. Stay uh-huh. in the light. So what we're thinking about is this is going to be. Um, you're not going to have the fruit for two years, but you will have a neat tropical house plant for the duration. Well, see, now there's nothing wrong with that. It's very cool. Yeah. So you'll have a nice little plant that you can put in the corner of your house or your apartment, and then in two years, you just might very well have pineapple. But here's what you do. So when you buy the pineapple, when you cut off the crown, you cut off the top, you know, about a quarter inch of the fruit still attached. Okay? Yeah. And then you kind of, you scoop out any fruit that might still be in the crown. Okay. And you let it dry for a few days. And then you press the top kind of into um, some moist uh, soil and then you water it regularly. Okay? And while you're doing that, you can Plant the pineapple directly into the potting soil. And keep in mind that pineapples, they're, you know, obviously Hawaii, tropical areas. They like it humid and they like it warm. So keep it away from anything that might be hot like a stove or any cold area. You may even want to have it in a, in a bathroom where there's more humidity. Sure. But anyway, kind of fun. Sounds like the bathroom's going to have a ton of stuff growing because <laughs> it's the ideal environment, right? It's going to be like a, well, it's going to be your it's new produce It's going to be like a greenhouse area. with yeah. a shower in it. I like it. It's nice. How about potatoes? No. You can grow potatoes from leftovers? No. Well, if you love to grow baking potatoes, I mean, this is, it's kind of a cool idea, right? What you would do is you cut your potato. Do you, you, you buy potatoes, right? I do. Okay. You cut your potato into a few pieces with a couple of, uh, of eyes on each piece, right? Oh, so you want to have the eye left over. 
the eye of the tater. Yeah. And okay. then you plant the pieces in moist potting soil so they will sprout. Just a chunk of potato with an eye in it. That's it. That's how it works. You know, I will say they must be pretty easy because sometimes if they're, if they're left in the potato area too long, the staging area, I call it. Right. They grow they're the roots. They're rooting, right? Yeah, they're rooting. In fact, some people grow potatoes in a trash can. You know, you can get really? you can get a trash can, and that becomes like your, your little mini garden, right? Uh-huh. Okay. As long as it's just sitting there in a dark, moist soil, it's all kinds of things are coming out of there, Man. right? So basically, when you buy your potatoes for whatever Sweet cooking, potatoes too, and yams. yeah, so you're gonna you're gonna basically save one or two of the eyes, chop it up into a few pieces with a couple of eyes on each piece, yeah. and plant the pieces in moist potting soil so they'll begin to sprout, and uh, again to grow sweet potatoes, plant the entire potato. You put the whole thing the in. Entire potato in moist potting soil. And once they sprout, you can actually take the cuttings and then plant those to produce even more plants. So, I mean, you are now- I might start a business, a sweet potato business. <laughs> you are, you've got green onions, you've yeah. got celery that you're growing. I have pineapple. It's going to be two years, pineapple. but I do have pineapple coming. <laughs> it's going to be two years, yeah. right? Just keep showing everybody that you got the plant. It's here. What about, yep. gar- what about garlic? Oh, Come on, I love the, who doesn't okay. love the garlic? So like potatoes, sometimes garlic cloves. I see You've it turn into little shoots in, come out. In your refrigerator, yep. right, or somewhere? Yep. Well, those garlic cloves, they start sprouting before you get around to using them. Instead of tossing out the sprouted garlic... Use no. it, plant it. No, 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 don't put it in the trash. I'm not throwing it out. It's easy to take care of, and it can be used to grow again and again and again. So now what do you do with that? So you simply plant a clove... Right yeah. in some soil with the sprouted end up, okay, and then the paper. Wait, wait, the sprouted end up meaning up the, to the sky. Okay, got okay, it, yeah. And then that mean, and then with that papery layer kind of still on it, and then you place the pot in a warm, sunny area inside your home. Yeah. And then once the shoots begin to grow tall, you can cut them back to cause and almost force the plant to put its energy into a making the bulb of the garlic bigger. Wow, okay. Are you with me? Yeah. So then when the garlic bulb is ready to be harvested, you can plant one or many of the cloves so you can just keep you're 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 a garlic grove factory at this point. Man, that's great. I'm doing that See? too. So I'm gonna do I'm doing the garlic, I'm doing the well, potatoes potato I've and the green done. onions. Inadvertently I've done the potato. You've done the potato. Yeah. But you've gotta do the, the green onions and the celery. I like it. How about regular onions? You know, white yellow onions, right? Yeah, I never have enough. I always know. I, I no use them every they're, they're they, amazing right? for you, by the way. So they can really be grown easily from scraps. So what do you do? Okay. You cut off the I can't root. tell you how much I've thrown uh, I've thrown that thing out for years. So that 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 ugly part, yeah. you know, that that root end, okay? Yeah. You cut that off and you save it, leaving only a small amount of the meat of the onion still attached. Sure. Okay? And you have a secret to cutting onions too, don't you? You oh, kind of go I do. you go My friend Tom Beers taught me. Yeah. So you basically plant that little part just beneath the surface of the soil. Yeah. Okay? With the meaty part in the soil and the ugly part up, and in a few months. Wait, the ugly part, the root part up or down? You're going to cut the root of the onion off, and you're going to leave the small amount of the flesh attached, and you're going to plant that just beneath the surface of the soil. So the whole thing will be submerged. Okay, Okay, gotcha. And basically, you're going to have this in in the soil, in a pot, but in a sunny area in a few months. You will have Fresh a, onions. a new onion. Man, that's good. Okay, and so you potentially wouldn't have to buy onions at I'm the grocery store. I'm not buying anything. I'm not I'm buying telling you. <laughs> I mean, talk about you know being totally sustainable. Here you are. This is it. Now you Here's have your to, chance. Now you have to have mushrooms. Yeah. I love now I've grown mushrooms. the mu- you know they sell the mushroom growing kits. I've purchased them before the, the boxes yeah. and before you know it, you right. got a ton of great right. mushrooms. So even though they they can be a little difficult to grow, it's possible to grow mushrooms from scraps from scraps Get okay out of here. so again we're talking about instead of throwing out all these veggies and things that you've been shopping because you've been doing some great cooking save some of these scraps because now you're going to grow all your produce for yourself so now the mushrooms it's a, it's easier to grow uh, indoors because outdoors they compete against other fungi so to grow the mushroom you remove the whole head and, and then you plant the stalk part. The stalk, of course. And Which, that's the part I throw out anyway. Right, because most people just take that meaty head off and, you, and then you slice that. them. That's right. But it's that little, 
you know how you kind of pop it off the sure. stalk, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you're going to plant the stalk in soil with the top of the stalk just kind of up breathing just in the out air. A it's bit. in the air. Yeah. And guess what? That baby's going to grow a new little mushroom head. If it's grown just right, it likes cool, moist, growing conditions without too much Sounds light. Sounds like it's going back Not in too the much shower. Light. <laughs> <laughs> it's going to be, people going to wonder what the heck bathroom is it? I have, man. <laughs> <laughs> but isn't that interesting? Yeah. I mean, these are all great, inexpensive, easy, fun project Worth things. a try, for yeah. sure. So, I mean, think about it. You know, food waste is the number one component of city garbage. So now not only are you growing and having a fun gardening project, your own food, right? You're, you're saving uh, the whole idea of food waste. You're helping to keep Doesn't organic. Doesn't drive you crazy to throw out it a bunch of stuff you bought? I feel bad. It, oh, I, I feel it. bad. So see, like, this is a great idea. I know. So now you, it's like you're going to feel like you're doing good. You're going to have some fun, and you're going to have your own fresh food. And by the way, you can also do fruit. Too, by well, the way. I don't even want to tell you about my orange tree. It's going crazy I right know. now. I am having fresh juice every morning. So we will put all of this uh, information on the website, as always, so you too can go from garbage to garden. Love Yourhomewizards.com. Eric Stromer, Cindy Dole. We love to improve your home and improve your life.